Hi everyone, I'm John Evans and you're watching another episode of Mid Mod Money, the show that teaches you how to buy and sell vintage items for a profit. Hey, thanks for tuning into this episode and remember to subscribe if you haven't, if you're reluctant to subscribe. You got to subscribe because the first Monday of the month we give away a free vintage item. So make sure you subscribe and comment on the first of the month video. So let's get to this thrift store haul. This is a standard thrift store haul, old school thrift store haul, if you will. A lot of ceramics, if you're into that kind of thing. But uh, this is between Maryland and West Virginia all, all throughout different thrift stores. So let's look at what I found, starting with this exciting, exciting piece. Oh boy, where's my art majors at? Uh, anybody know what this is? Anybody tell me who this is? This is a ceramic version of the Blue Boy painting by, who was it, Thomas Gainsborough uh, in, 19, in 1770, excuse me. The famous uh, little boy holding the hat with the large plume. Kind of interesting because the plume actually has some green felt on the bottom. Um, yeah, this is, it's hard to say. Uh, this is pretty gross. I mean, it's not a great looking uh, piece. It's kind of like funny in an ironic way, maybe. Uh, but I, I, it was only $1.99, so I went for it. I think some art person or there are people who collect multiple versions of Blue Boy. Uh, I don't know, two bucks. I'm thinking it's probably worth at least $20 uh, just because it's so big. Perfect condition, not chipped, not cracked. Uh, still got the little green felt. 20 bucks for Blue Boy done in ceramic. Next thing I found at Christian Crossing Thrift Store. This unique candle lantern. Unique in that it has this uh, kind of tulip base. Which places it <clears throat> late 60s, early 70s. And, uh, whoa, we almost had an incident. This uh, plastic base, I guess you would put like a votive or whatever in there and uh, light a candle. Uh, screams kind of early 70s to me. And uh, this was only 75 cents. So shout out to Christian Crossing for selling this for 75 cents because I think it's probably worth about, about 18 bucks. 18 for the unique pedestal yeah this is everything the little tulip base that's on chairs that's on stereo equipment okay uh next thing i found uh, on my way to martinsburg west virginia i think this was in terra alta i found this unique fellow he is indeed a piggy bank oh man Dressed to the nines, that bow tie's got that look, kind of, uh, made in Japan, uh, this, there, and as you can see, 99 cents, he is in almost perfect shape, he has one little white speck on the bow tie, little tiny chip, it's on the indentation, hardly noticeable, uh, 99 cents. That was pretty incredible to find one in this good of condition. Even has the stopper. I'm going to sell, this is like probably early 70s, something like that. This is probably worth 20 bucks, even with this little tiny speck in the bow tie. 20 bucks, 18 to 20 for the frog bank that cost me one American dollar. Now, uh, sometimes when you're in thrift stores, you see like a cluster of things. Someone has uh, turned in their collection of stuff. And uh, that's what happened to me when I was at uh, the Habitat for Humanity store. And these cats, yes, someone's cat collection was depleted. And they only wanted 50 cents for the Gemis. Very old Kind of not as cute, but very interesting. 50 cents. 
These little guys were 50 cents. I'm going in order of what I think their value is, too. These guys were 50 cents each. Um, these guys were 50 cents. 50 cents? Look at that. So I would just happen to be there. And I took, I got the best ones, basically. These guys were... Yeah, that was $2, and the last one, I think, is in terms of what I like. Uh, these guys, yeah, you're last. So who's going to tell these guys they're last? These guys were a buck, made by Home Co. I got ones that were all definitely vintage, like 60s to 80s. There was a lot of, uh, frankly, crap uh, kitty cats there. So, uh, again, a dollar. Believe it or not, that all that cost five fifty, five dollars and fifty cents. And when I put these in my booth and price them individually, the whole parcel will go for forty-two bucks. So I'll make forty-two bucks off of five, and it'll be pretty easy because cat people they'll go, oh, they've got cats, they buy them, you know, and that's conservatively priced forty-two. So next thing I found, which I love, a good, colorful. Pennsylvania Dutch Amish drinking pitcher. Now, I paid up for this. I was in, I believe this was Hagerstown at a thrift store. This was 10 bucks. Wow. $10. What am I, Nelson Rockefeller over here? $10? Nelson Rockefeller? Come on, you know who he is. Um... This, the only comps I saw, there was eBay, There, uh, someone had a version of this with no color on it, and they wanted $30 for it. There wasn't one with the color, which makes it, I think, a, a lot nicer and more desirable. Me and my uh, research guy both agree that this is probably a $35 picture. So, off of 10 $35 off of $10. Well, speaking of the Pennsylvania Dutch, <clears throat> I can't speak to whether she's from Pennsylvania, but this definitely has a Dutch vibe. I bought this little creamer at the Habitat for Humanity for five, whoops, five bucks. Vintage creamer, it says. Well, how vintage is it? Um, <clears throat> based on this and this style, I think this is probably 50s and could even be 40s. But here's the thing. Very clean on the bottom. Someone took great care of this. This doesn't have a thing wrong with it, which is why uh, this and the cute factor is off the charts. So you're looking at uh, probably 16 to 18 bucks off of five. Nice little profit off of vintage. I mean, it's the it's the look, the mischievous. You don't know what I'm up to. That look. All right. Uh, next thing I found in Martinsburg, West Virginia, at a Goodwill, and I'm not not making this up. They had these mixed in with their regular mugs that were just forty nine cents. Forty nine cents. For these, I believe, Anchor Hawking mugs. Milk glass. If you ever see the milk, the white glass, this is called milk glass. And you want to see them with more color, but this wheat pattern is pretty desirable too. These are worth about 20 bucks for four. So 20 off of $2. That's $18 profit if you're good at math. If you can figure that out. All right, we're down to our final object. And I am jazzed about this. Are you ready for the for the big closer? I found these. What does that say? Vintage candlestick. I found these at uh, Highland Thrift in Grantsville, which is about 45 minutes from my house. I often will go 45 minutes uh, just on a whim, but I did. I, it hit this time because I found these three vintage, mid-century modern teak, I believe, candle holders. 
Now on the bottom, they say WS or SM, depending on how you read it. They could say SM, they could say WS. I don't know, I my research comes up with nothing on that. Now, there are three sizes. Good in that I have the full set. There's three of these, one in every size. And these were 12 bucks at a thrift store. And that's not bad, because even at a Goodwill, I'd expect to see these at three bucks each. Three, six, nine. The fact that these were 12, I don't hate that price. And again, each one, WS, or is it MS? Man, I don't know. If anyone has information on <laughs> but uh, again, 12 bucks. Comp prices on these, these can get pretty expensive. If these were perfect, this would be over a hundred bucks. Yes, yes, because they're vintage, because they're teak. These would be a hundred dollars. There's one minor flaw on the edge of this one. See that? Oh, yes. That's it though. Really good wood grain. The grain on the wood is fantastic. They've been taken very good care of. And uh, I think they're probably worth about $80 off of 12. I'm going to ask 80 bucks for the three MCM candlesticks. Wow. I, look, let's look what I spent $38.25 on everything. $38.25. Uh, mostly through my booth at the Antique Mall, my two huge booths, three huge booths now, now that I'm at uh, Lincoln Highway Hub. When it's all said and done, through eBay, through my booths, I'm looking at 255 off of 36 So $200 profit, not a bad, not a bad chunk of change. And anyone can do this. If you have Google Lens, whoa, Google Lens, cell phone, automobile. Keep watching this show, of course, Mid Mod Money. I would always recommend that. Thanks for watching my program. Remember to hit like on your way out the door and always round up.